Scared the fucking piss out of me.
Handy. You fucking kidding me? It was like an hour and a half of shit. I know what to do with it though. Or not? Combine with the, the thing. Combine. Uh, maybe I gotta do... Maybe I gotta do it at the place where I do it. Elevator key. And away we go. Why would an elevator be locked like that?
Laura? Huh? You know my name? Eddie told me. That big fat blabbermouth. How do you know about Mary? What's the big deal? Why can't you just tell me? You gonna yell at me if I don't? No, I won't. with Mary. We met at the hospital. It was last year. You liar! Laura, I... Fine, don't believe me. But last year, Mary was already... I'm sorry, Laura. Anyway, let's go. We can talk about this later. This is no place for a kid. There are all sorts of strange things around here. I can't believe you haven't even gotten a scratch on you. Why should I? Wait, wait, there's something I gotta get. Later, okay? But it's really important. What is it? A letter from Mary. Huh? I wanna go get it, is that okay? Yes, yes. Is it in there? Yeah, in the back. What are you doing, Laura? It's further back, in the desk. Open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? Want me to open it? Huh? Huh? Do ya? What's the magic word? Laura? Okay. I guess it won't open it. I think I'll just leave you like this. You snotty little brat! Back seating is like being up in the comments telling me about like items that I missed or telling me like strategies or how to do it.
How the fuck did I end up outside? Ugh, I got this cheap Chinese Xbox controller, my D-pad's all sticky. Eh, once you get past the initial, like, oh my god, it gets a little bit easier. The jump, the jump scares still get me. Like, when you work, when you round a corner and there's a mannequin waiting for you there. I feel that, my dude. Like, weirdly, this game doesn't bother me a whole lot, but shit like, uh, like Five Nights at Fredward's gets me. Like, every time. And I hate it. But I can play this game just fine. Yeah, that's, I think that's what gets me. It's not the actual scary, it's the anxiety of it. Yeah, with this game I feel relatively safe, because I got all these guns and whatnot. But, you know, you're playing a game where it's like, oh, you're just fucked. You can't. You can't do nothing but look around in a circle. Oh, speak of which, die. Uh, this one is probably my favorite so far. I've only played one and two. Um, I am gonna do three, because I discovered that there is a PC... I'm gonna get out of this room. There is a PC port of three, so I'm gonna do that one later, and I'll see if I like that one better or worse. I have been doing them all on stream over the last uh, couple of days and weeks. Never heard of the Red Brad. I will look him up. And Silent Hill 1 wasn't really scary. Silent Hill 1 was just fucking annoying. The way all the monsters came at you from the, through the fog and, uh, and the home stretch when you're going across the bridge at like four frames a second and there's just 18 gajillion monsters. That was a little much. Hey, Cheesy Jones. Well, I wouldn't say it put me to sleep. I was actively engaged in Silent Hill 1. It was just... 
I did not like it very much. I'm about to get fucking sandwiched. I need to use my shotgun. Uh, Y'all should get the PC version of this game, Cheesy Jones. It's on my abandonware. And people made some mods that made the graphics good and fixed a couple of widescreen issues. That's what I'm doing now. At the mouse movement. Uh, PlayStation 2 emulation is kind of tricky. It don't work too good. And that's why whenever there is an actual PC version, I'll opt for that over the emulated version. Okay, or don't fight me. Whatever you guys want to do. I mean, if they're gonna make it this easy on me, I probably will. I just gotta go for that one back. Oh, there's a fourth one. No! <laughs> oh, I didn't know they could hit each other like that. Just back it up. No fair. Only I'm allowed to have a stab animation, not you. They weren't bobblehead nurses in part one. They were, uh. They had like slugs in their backs, didn't they? I don't know, possessed or something. Indeed, they do. This whole game looks a lot nicer. Although I'm not really a fan of the uh, the interior building design because everything is so narrow and Japanesey. Uh, that'd do, I suppose. That'd do. Ok, 
Okay, fuck that. Making me use my all of my shotgun ammo that I'm gonna need for a boss fight later. Pipe. Come on. Okay, I was gonna lose my shit if they were still alive after that. Hey, yay, yay. And that was a net loss. I'd lost resources in this room. Puppet Nurse. Yeah, that's a good name, I guess. Something tells me that there's going to be a boss fight in this room later. Oh man, I never got to try PT. But I saw all of the people playing it and it looked really cool. I didn't have a PS4 at the time, man. Like, I have a PS4 now, and I don't use it. But I did not have one at the time. Safe point. It's because Konami is a Japanese company, and Japanese companies are very, very, um, I want to say prideful. Like, if they don't like you, they're going to hold a grudge against you forever. That's why there's not a new F Zero game. Oh no, that sucks, man. Rest in spaghetti, copy of PT. Oh man, I would love to do Fatal Frame on stream, but it only came out on fucking PlayStation. The PlayStation emulators don't run too good on my computer for some reason. PlayStation 2.
Okay, I don't like this room. But I'm relatively safe in here, so, uh... The one that I want to see either uh, a re-release for or like a remake for is Siren Blood Curse. You guys ever play that one? The game is fantastic. I love it. Oh, maybe I will play it on stream. It it might be on Sony's uh, thing where you can play the games on their server and just play it on a live stream. Yes, I quite enjoyed it. Oh, that reminds me of another good game. I gotta play, um, I gotta play all the video games. I still have to do Yakuza 3, 4, and 5 on stream. But, um, the one game, fucking, I can't think of its name right now. The one where it's like Twin Peaks. Where the guy eats the fucking jelly bean and peanut butter and tuna sandwich. There's the squirrel keys. What's the name of that fucking game? My brain is melting. It's kind of like a... Like a third-person action -y game like this, and you play as like a detective guy, and it's like Twin Peaks, sort of. Like Japanese Twin Peaks. Oh, I gotta... I gotta look this up. Because it is destroying me that I've forgotten the name of this game. Deadly Premonition. That's what it's called. Holy shit. I can't believe I forgot the name of that game. It's amazing. It is like... Oh, it's so weird in Japanese. But they're doing their damnedest to make it, like, not weird and American. And it's, it's just beautiful. You gotta see somebody play that. It's amazing. Hey, thanks for the follow, Cheesy Jones. And Recon Beauty? Recon Beauty. Thank you so much for the follow. Alrighty. Uh, I appreciate the follow, Beauty. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, it's that thing. From Silent Hill 1. The ampule. I still don't understand this item. I don't get it. Cheesy. 
Luckily, I ate before I started streaming. Because there's nothing worse than having to get up in the middle of streaming and be like, Uh, guys, I'm gonna take like a ten minute break here to shove food in my fat face hole. I just had me a nap a little while ago, but I've been awake since probably, I want to say 6 p.m. I'm on a fun sleep schedule. I'm trying to rotate it back around. Yeah, it's about 3.30 in the morning for me, too. Uh, Michigan, y'all. How's things in Texas going? Is it literally on fire like it is here? I, don't, I hear things are also pretty bad in New York. Mm. Could go for some barbecue. Like, uh, maybe a McRib. See if they have any at the gas station when they open. such is the nature of people. Everybody thinks that their shit's more important. Do I not have a weapon equipped? Bullshit. Eh, fair enough, cheesy. talking about being cold and above freezing. It's like negative seven here. Which is weird. I always thought it was colder in New York. Fair enough, yeah.
It's usually around late January, early early February that it's coldest here. It sounded like a cat. Grody. Well, they did murder James. a cat in... Oh, that's Mary? A... Oh, Maria. It's you. I thought you were... Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? You don't sound very happy to see me. I was almost killed back there. Why didn't you try to save me? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life. You couldn't care less about me, could you? No, I just... Then stay with me. Don't ever leave me alone. You're supposed to take care of me. <laughs> so, what about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but she ran away. We've got to find her. Oh, you boy. You really seem to care about her. Do you know her? I've never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone. And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. Yeah, it is a very, uh, 2000s fashion statement, isn't it? But yeah, we have the liability back. Oh boy. Her outfit, I believe, is based on somebody. Like, some celebrity. Okay, that time I know it was a cat. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Some Disney chick. Everyone should be feeding their Tamagotchi. You know, speaking of which, did you know they still make those? I saw one at uh, Walmart, like, I don't know, before this crisis started, like a year ago. now you got uh they got like little data chips in the top that you can trade around with your friends to unlock different stuff now how do you know about these 
These were my childhood, not yours. Missing something about this. Yeah, fair enough. There's good pet training, too. For when the child inevitably wants a cat or a dog or. I don't know what kids like. They like birds now. Fair enough. Oh, speaking of, hello kitty kid. Hello Michael. Uh, that's my little brother's cat. Who is in heat and is trying to climb out my damn window? Hi there, everybody! Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to another exciting edition of Trick or Treat! Here you either answer the questions correctly and win a great prize, or fail to answer correctly and receive the punishment. It all depends on you. And I forgot about this part. Or should I say, unlucky challenger today is James.
What was that? Um... Does anybody know the answer to question three? I think the first one is three, and the second one is two. But I don't remember the street. Let me check my meat. Yeah, there's Lakeside Amusement Park. Is it Nathan Avenue? Hmm. Let me check my Discord message real quick, and then, uh... I guess I'll just Google that shit. That's what Google's, Google is for. Uh, question three was which road is the only road between Paleville and uh, Southvale? I think it's Nathan Avenue. This is the road y'all. what I was thinking. Oh, right. Refrigerator. open it? Yeah. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? She is indeed a little bitchy, isn't she? What's this? Not very cute, is it? Here, James. You take it. Mm, thanks. Yeah, just a little bit. I'm not gonna have any shotgun ammo by the end of this. We get to the next boss. I have to kill it with melee weapons.
I feel that. I'm uh, probably going to get one of those cool secret mirror doors. You can have uh, like a floor to ceiling mirror installed that's actually a doorway that you open with the, the RFID chips. They're not that expensive either. It's like a thousand dollars minus uh, labor. Rest in spaghetti. Hey, it's her own fault. Do you see how far she was lagging behind when we were running through the hallway? Bitch, I can't even open a refrigerator. <laughs> exactly. Are right, we done with the hospital then? Oh, I didn't go and do the thing. Fuck. Get back there? Will it let me? No, oh, I don't think it's gonna let me get back there. I think we had to do it like when we were actually there. Yeah, well, onward and upward. Eh, I haven't played this game since I was like nine years old. 
Actually, I was probably like 12 or 13. I was young when I played it. Around the time it came out. We was always a Resident Evil household ourselves. Whenever the new Resident Evil came out, my mom and dad would pick up the Resident Evil and a strategy guide for it. And we would all hang around, it'd be like a big family event. Eh, some people just don't like video games. They ain't for everybody. This is not the correct direction. Road still out. Hey, thanks for the follow, Chrono Face. Much appreciated, my dude, and welcome to the stream. Eh, you know, it's going. Just playing some Schmilent Hill at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Trying to figure out how the fuck to get over here. I guess there's a couple more roads I could try. Well, I could do the appropriate thing and play Silent Hill in October. Yeah, in October, and not February. Eh, the Devil's Hour is probably like, uh, I don't know, 5. Nobody wants to be up at 5 o'clock in the morning.
Eh, yeah, fair enough. If shit happens, it eh, if shit happens here, it always happens right before people would normally wake up or right before people would normally go to bed. It's like our own Murphy's Law. Uh, I am terrified of the paranormal, but I am also skeptical of it and don't believe it unless it's convenient. Like, I'll be sitting here like, ghosts aren't real, that's a load of bullshit, and then, like, the cat will knock a glass off a shelf and it'll break, and I'll be like, oh my god, ghosts are real, they're gonna kill me. performing Minecraft rituals. And yeah, Chrono Face, I haven't played this in years, so I'm just sort of flying by the seat of my pants. I, like, I know the basic outline of what's going on, then that's it. That mannequin do got good shoes, though. Eh, she's getting it from the YouTubes. Like everybody else gets it from. Uh... I have beat this game, I think, twice as a wee child. And I'm pretty sure there's like six endings. And a mannequin ain't gonna beat my ass because I ain't gonna go anywhere near it. It could just live there for the rest of its existence for all I care. Has good mechanics for horror. Unfortunately, they abandoned that when they abandoned horror in general. Which is big sad. Wrench. Sorry for not reading these out loud, but I have a terrible speaking voice and I cannot, like, read and read at the same time. It, my brain just doesn't work like that.
Yeah. The hospital is... I want to say halfway through. I think we're coming up here on the end. We got like... We got to do the hotel area and then... I forget what comes after the hotel area, but we're, we're about halfway, I think. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get the good ending. I think I'm on pace for it. I think I'm going for the the leave ending is the one that I think I'm going for. So how the fuck do I get back over there? Michael, no. Michael, go away. Uh, yes, that is the ending where he, uh, game ends in Minecraft. Michael don't love me. Michael loves that my window don't have a screen in it. Question is though, which butthole? Oh, good point. Wasn't that a meme for a minute? That was Maria, and I believe we just saw that part. Uh, bitch couldn't get in the elevator in time and got fucking slaughtered in a dank basement hallway. No, it would be Mary. I had to check because I'm, I've got a real good brain.
Oh, we're back on this side of the fence. Perfect. because I'm very, very paranoid about running out of ammo. Oh, hey, check out this cool thing you can do on the PC version of the game. I don't have to open the menu to change weapons. Oh, it's so good. I would argue that it goes against the balance of the game, but I don't care, because I like it. I know, doesn't it? Not like a spoon that you would use, but like one of those novelty spoons that you get at like truck stops. Like, oh look, this is the official Arizona spoon. Yeah, these games are pretty dope. I like them. Even if the first one gives me agita. Eh, the Resident Evil 2 remake was pretty fun. The Resident Evil 3 was kind of poopy, but the 2 remake was pretty fun. Oh, 
Oh yeah, they put out a demo for that, didn't they? I gotta try that. Yeah, I don't play the, the Resident Evil games because they're scary. I play them because they're like goofy and cheesy. Don't mind me. I'm don't mind me. I'm just going to take that mid kid. Goodbye. It's fine, she got me eventually. Lost in Vive. I have not heard of this. Do explain, Chrono. Oh, this texture looks really good. Ooh. I don't know, man. Like, can you not? I was trying to talk to people. As I was saying, I don't know if, uh, like, I love my pets, but I don't know if I would chase them through Nightmare Helltown. You know, I might be like, oh, yeah, I love you, dog, but, uh, you have fun with that. Oh man, I haven't seen anything Parasynical did since Hunt Down the Freeman. Is there a fucking whale down here? I'll have to check that out, Chrono. Okay, I get it. You're making spooky sounds. Can we stop? Oh, that's a bad date. Uh, Cry of Fear? Yeah, I've played Cry of Fear, actually. I believe I tried to get it working in co-op mode so I could play with my, uh, my Dutch friend. Who I recently learned is the Duke of Sealand.
trying to think of some other good horror games that aren't like cheap horror. Oh, you know what one was good? Oh, Heart of Darkness was pretty good, actually. But no, I was thinking of, um... Uh, what's it called? The the one where you play as the detective. Fuck. Uh... Don't tell me I gotta Google this one, too. I played it like a million times. Ah, oh, not evil within. Alone in the Dark is good, too. Ah... Uh... Fuck. It's the one that's like melee focused. Where like you got the you got your like boot and you got your taser and you gotta hit people with pipes and like locker doors and shit. That one's good. What is this fucking meme that the bird has sent me? <laughs> oh, this is good. I don't know if I can show this on stream. Hold on. Here, I'll uh, I'll post this in chat so y'all can enjoy this. Yes, Condemned Criminal Origins. That's the one. Here, check out this glorious meme that my Dutch friend sent me. It's not safe for work. I've been playing this game for like 20 hours and I just now realized I can strafe with the shoulder buttons. Time to go down a hole. Oh, indeed. That is why uh, my girlfriend doesn't do commissions. Because people always ask her to draw uh, horrible furries. Is there not a floor texture in here? Oh, it's a reflection. Okay. A couple of my friends draw hentai and porns and whatnot. I mean, if you don't if you don't mind doing it, it's a good way to make money. People pay big bucks for that kind of stuff. Yes. 
Yeah, I feel that. I could fuck up a stick figure. Buzzy insects. garbage. That is why it took me so long to play this one, because I didn't want to... I didn't want to have to buy a capture card and then buy an adapter so that I could adapt PlayStation 2, like the, the component, to HDMI, to my capture card, to my computer. Because that's fucking garbage. But then I learned there was a PC release, and that people took the PC release and made it all HD and good, and not garbage like the HD version. Uh, let me get that for you real quick me just a second. Okay, this is the three disc set, and you're gonna need like a little bit of know-how because you have to mount the CDs and install them through a virtual drive. And uh, this is the mod pack that I'm using to bring it up to snuff with the PlayStation 2 version. No problem, my dude. Mm, quick hydration brick. I mean, I'm having a good time. Don't tell me I'm gonna fucking die in the bug room. Jesus Christ. Pretty rough. <laughs> 